Warm welcome from the Argentine capital, Buenos Aires. We are at the El Monumental, the home of River Plate. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. And the lineups for this game. the whistle and here we go looks to dink one in has it out wide now that'll be a throw in hits one and with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Well, he was in such a great position in front of goal, and you'd expect him to score from there, but somehow he's missed it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries a long pass towards the front. And here's the chance to counter. He's tried one. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Tries to dink it in, and he's kept it out. He's done very well to get to that. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Looks like a good ball through. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. And it's Brahimi. Slimani. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, if he truly fancies his chances from here, he's going to need the best of the best. This certainly looks appetising well within shooting range. Mores! Oh, it's a stunning goal! About as smooth as it gets! Unbelievable. Oh, that is a bit special. Algeria take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Who's going to make this theirs? Looks to slip it through. Keeper's got good distance on that. Slimani, now the pass. Gets it back. Out to the left it goes. Tries a through ball. 
pretty robust, but the referee says no foul. Move forward. What does he try from here? Shoots! He's missed another one. Well, when you see chance after chance go astray like that, it's only natural to think that they may end up with a little regret here. Slimani goes wide. Well played, he saw that coming. Brahimi. Now it's Slimani. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And in it goes. And already they're looking to run away with it. And that is stunning, just too hot to handle. That is just the top drawer finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. Algeria take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Plays it out to the flank. Out for a throw. That's not going to make it. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. He's gone for it! Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? It's a loose ball. Passes it through. Real chance! To within one. Interesting. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Tries a through ball. He's good for it! That is wayward. I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of the goal, but he just couldn't put in the telling touch. Gulam. Slimani looks to slip it through. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Yeah, fractional, but fractional is, is enough. He was off. Gets it back. And it's Slimani. Mares, he's off on a marauding run. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. And the half-time whistle goes. That's entertainment. Asking for any more would be a little greedy, Peter. And yes, mistakes have played their part. So reducing errors could go a long way towards swaying the balance one way or the other. Algeria head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. Oh, that's neat. He'll have a dip! An untidy challenge, free kick given.
Brahimi, a scorer already in the game. Slimani with the ball through. Mares. How about it? Loose ball, who's going to get that? Gets good distance on it. Away from immediate danger. That's unlucky, just wouldn't come down. Well, I think the keeper knows all too well that there was no getting anywhere near that. That's a big escape. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Now the pass. Mares collects the ball from behind. It's come loose. Fauzi Gulam. And he's whipped it in low. It's in! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. <laughs> Algeria take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Well, that goal should be a big game-changer. It's certainly been a big mood-changer. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Tries to get it forward quickly. He's through. And now they can launch a counter. Looks like a good ball through. And more, and more, and more! And surely that settles it. Slimani versus the keeper, and only one winner. Peter, I can tell you, that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution. Algeria grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Forward it goes. Mares tries to stroke it through. Saved only by poor finishing. It so nearly came off for him. Well, in all honesty, he's tormented that defence. They just can't handle him. Limani. And it's Slimani. Brahimi. Gets it upfield. Out towards the flank. Aim forward. Now the pass. Slimani, he's onside. Well, the odds were right up against them, but they saved themselves with some very good defending. He had a decision to make there, and he got it absolutely spot. Mares has been caught there, it's a foul. Missed it. Oh, it's miles away. Surely he knew he couldn't score from there. <laughs> it's 
a long forward pass. Dashing forward at pace. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. <laughs> it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Boots it upfield. Tries a through ball. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Mares with the ball through. A chance! He'll have a dip! Big relief, it just needed better contact. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. Beglin. Ah, oh, Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending. So, is this the start of a comeback? Time added on four minutes. Plays it out to the wing. Good idea, just poorly executed. Bentaleb, aimed long and direct, looks to slip it through. Hits one! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, much more than... And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Algeria claim victory here, and on balance they were worth it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Algeria have some very strong runners from midfield and it's not often you'll see a team be 